Hello everyone. So I've been trying to figure out where physics went wrong. And uh, I only say it went wrong is because they don't seem to be predicting anything useful new lately. What you're looking at right now is two pieces of metal or a single piece of metal wrapped around a wire in a little glass jar. And um, all it is is they're looks like they're repelling themselves right now. And it's because they have a voltage on them. And if I discharge that voltage, oops, charged it instead. <laughs> They, they move. I've got my high voltage wand about three foot away, and I can definitely make this thing move with it. And oops, stuck them to the sides. So um, field forces do amazing and very interesting things. And um, physics used to be about this. This was it. It was that and magnets, because they both do some very interesting, neat stuff. And then physics, I guess, got tired of that and moved on to particles, which kind of makes sense because particles were something different. But I am pretty convinced that particles are made out of the field forces. And I say this because we have an interesting document like this called the Bagel Game that Bob Greenier shared, us, uh, shared with us. And it's a good one. The guy makes a coil that looks like that. And... Uh, it basically makes an electromagnetic phantom. You put alternating current into it, and it makes a stable particle thing that just sits there in free space. And there's all the little diagrams of how it works. I will link this in the video description, if at all possible. And um, I made one of these coils, and it certainly makes a stable electromagnetic thing. You turn the coil off, you pull it out of the way, and the electromagnetic pattern just sits there for days on end till it can finally hit you, and, well, it burned me on some occasions. Don't put too much power into these things. Anyway, um, but it kind of looks like that's what everything's made out of. This is a 4 to 1 ratio, and it's got 24 turns in each of these little coils, and 24 turns around here. So, uh, left-hand helix appears to make a negatively charged item, just like an electron. And then you take interesting paper, like this one, Modeling the Basic Ring Structures in Elementary Particles of Matter. Here's the author. And um, I'll also link this one in the video description. And it's um, got diagrams that look very, very close to exactly what's uh, going on in those coils. And I would guess this one is looking a lot more like a neutron than a um, an electron, but who knows? Anyway, old system of modeling the electron new system. Old system of modeling matter, new system only if you pay attention to the bagel game document. And you go, hey, these are made out of complete field forces. All of reality starts to make a lot more sense. All this crazy complexity of physics becomes, well, relatively simple. And I find this immensely interesting because, gosh, this kind of explains the whole thing and why modern physics kind of messed up a bunch of stuff because they started researching the particles and forgot what they were made out of or didn't figure it out yet anyway so that's what i wanted to share and uh yeah even like the two coil system like jeremiah told me how to build turn both coils on at once turn one of them off first and they move not only that they drag nearby objects with them that tells us our whole reality is made out of field forces i do believe Anyway, um, by the way, the uh, physics group um, needs a um, programmer. So if you can program uh, Adreno or Raspberry Pi or one of those sorts of things, things like timing on coils is relatively easy to do in software, but a real pain in physical hardware like CMOS chips and that kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, if anyone would like to help with the project, it would be immensely appreciated. Leave me a comment, and I will tell you how to find us. I um, hope you learned something here, and hopefully I was clear enough with everything. Leave comments if you've got any questions, and all the relevant stuff should be in the video description. Okay, bye.